Hello everyone, I'm Harry, welcome to my channel, and today we're going to do another How to Sound Like video, so we're going to try and get the torrent on Are You Mine by the Arctic Monkeys. So this is probably one of Arctic Monkeys' most famous songs, and it has some really cool guitar signs on there. They're kind of, they're, they're overdrive borderline and on fuzz in a way, because they're kind of fizzly in the top end and they're quite thick sounding as well. So the pedal that I'm going to be using for all the overdrive signs, and even on the bass part as well, is the Mies Neeks by Yanis Altmanis. So this is a great thick sound and overdrive pedal that gets us really close to those original tones. I also recently did a demo of this pedal, so if you'd like to see that, there'll be a link up in the cards in the description and pinned in the comments. So there's only two guitar parts in this, and they're kind of, for the most part, they're just playing the same thing throughout. So there's Alex's part and Jamie's part. So for Jamie's part, I use this 1958 Reissue ES335 with Monty's PAF humbucking pickups. And then for Alex's parts, I actually used my 58 Rishu Les Paul, again with the same pickups. I used the Les Paul because I think I've seen him use the Les Paul for it live, even though he mainly uses his Gretsch Duo Jet. But the Les Paul is quite bright sounding and kind of gets close to those Phototron times with certain settings on this pedal as well. So the amp I'm using today, of course, like usual, is my old Silverface Twin Reverb, and that's been recorded by the Boss Wazza Tube Amp Expander. Okay, so we'll look at Alex's parts first. So again, like I said, we're using the Les Paul. I had the pedal on the high gain setting with a decent amount of overdrive and the time backed off a tiny little bit compared to the ES335 part, just because the Les Paul is a bit brighter. This stayed the same throughout the whole thing, even for the solo, all the parts are just the same settings. So I'll pull that isolated out the intro song so you can see and hear exactly what's going on. And you'll see the settings of the pedal on screen as well. <laughs> Okay, so we'll look at Jamie's parts now. Like I said, we're using the ES335 for this, which is kind of, 
it seems to have a little bit less gain. It's less mid-pushed and it's a bit warmer sounding. So for that, I pulled up the gain on the pedal ever so slightly and the time bit just to give it a bit more brightness. Again, I was in the same high gain setting throughout this as well. So I pulled Jamie's part out of the intro song isolated so you can see and hear exactly what's going on. And you'll see the settings of the pedal on screen as well. <laughs> So on the original recording, it does sound like there's overdrive on the bass. There's definitely overdrive on the bass for the little break part. But to me, it sounds like it's on throughout the whole thing. So I actually use the Musenics for that as well. We have the gain quite high just to give the bass enough fizzle. And then we pull the tone up a little bit as well. So I'll pull the bass part out of the intro song so you can hear exactly what the overdrive pedal is doing to the bass tone as well. I think it got quite close. So you'll see and hear exactly what's going on. And you'll see the settings of the pedal on screen as well. So there we have it, that was a look at how to get the tones and are you mind by the Arctic Monkeys. I really thought the Mies Needs came in handy for this, just because it has that thick overdrive sound going on. It's It can get kind of fizzy, which is good for this track because it does sound like that on the original. But the main thing that really made it sound like the original to me was the thick nature of this pedal. Again, using it on the bass really came in handy and it didn't get too muddy even though it's quite thick sounding. I think it quite suited the bass tone that we heard on the original track. So again, if you'd like to see my full demo of the Mies Needs to be produced track and everything like that, tested with multiple guitars, there'll be a link up in the cards, in the description, and pinned in the comments. 
So overall, I thought we got quite close. Let me know down in the comments how close you thought I got to the original song and any future How to Sound Like videos you'd like to see me do. If you did like the How to Sound Like video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. Other than that, go onto my channel, check out some of my playlists, I have plenty more lessons, covers, gear demos, how to sound like videos, and anything guitar related. As always, I've been Harry, and thanks for watching.